I was part of the best Special Forces uh, military in the whole world. People in America, they hear a lot about Navy SEALs, Delta Force, but uh, a lot of these, they're all based, I believe, on the, uh, the SAS and the SBS. It was really the, the British Special Forces that created all of these other Special Forces units around the world in a modern sense. What is the skill set of the SAS and the SBS? How, like, how capable are they on the battlefield and how devastating would that be against just a regular force? Yeah, you know what? They I've, we always laugh at this. Obviously, you know this. You know, everyone wants to say that they're they're. You know, and I don't sit there arguing. At the end of the day, you know, I'm a little bit biased because I was part of the best special forces <laughs> uh, military in the whole world. But really, you know, one thing why this the, the the UK special forces is so good. First of all, we have the heritage. You know, the knowledge, the heritage to back that. Secondly, I know this is a bit of a funny one. Comes down to money, mate. At the end of the day, we haven't got the money, so we have to be. It's all about being the master of all, the jack of all trades, master of none. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you got the Americans have got so much money, they've got someone to hold the weapon, and they'll bring in a number two to pull the trigger. You know, <laughs> it's like the NFL. So really, you got the offense, you got the defense, you got the special teams. Exactly, <laughs> mate. Exactly. So really, you know, at the end of the day, also, you know, the, the harshness of the environment that we train in. You know, which really, at the end of the day, that builds that mental robustness, that resilience. So, you know, we train in so many different uh, theatres of combat, you know, whether that's in the desert, in the Arctic, the jungle, everything. So really for us, you know, again, it's all about being uh, the jack of all trade, master of none. So we have to be that sort of universal soldier. The amount of skills and the amount of, you know, weapon systems and everything else, you have to have the knowledge on, you know, it, it just makes you a lot more, it gives you a lot more bandwidth as a Special Forces soldier.